Welcome back to another video. And today we're writing a C++ program that takes integer input. Integers are just like whole numbers. And we're going to display the max and average of those inputs. And then a negative integer or a negative number is going to end the program and it won't be used in the calculations for the max and the average. So we're going to be using this C off statement right here to print two numbers up to the decimal point. And here's an example of the user input. If the user enters 15, 20, 0, 3, and negative 1, negative 1 won't be used to find the max or the average. So to find the max, we just pretty much print the biggest number, which would be 20. And to find the average, we add up all these numbers, except for the negative 1. So we do 15 plus 20 plus 3 is going to be equal to 38, and then divide by however many numbers, which would be 4. 38 divided by 4, which would be 9.50. So yeah, so let's actually code it up, and then once we run our program, we'll see if it matches our actual input. So we're going to find some variables. We can do int count equal to 0. So each time we add a new number, each time the user enters a new number, we're going to add 1 to count. Because to find the average, we need to divide like the total amount divided by the actual how many numbers there are, which would just be the count in this case. And then we'll make an integer called max, set that equal to 0. This is going to hold the max. Another integer called um, user input, we'll set that... Yeah, we'll set that. We'll just we won't set that equal to zero. We'll just define it because we'll let the user enter a number, and then it'll be stored into user input. And then we'll make a double called total, and then we'll set that equal to zero. The reason it's a double is because um, I want it to have like a I want it to be a number with like numbers after the decimal point. So now we can get user input. We could say C in inside of user input. So whatever the user enters it's going to be stored inside the user input. And I, I'm also using these um, these imports right here, so have these included so your program will run as intended. Okay, so now we have to set the max. We can set the max equal to whatever number the user enters. Because the max is automatically going to be 0. So if the user enters 5, it's going to like replace the 0, and it's going to set uh, 5 as the max now. And we, uh, the instructions say we want the program to end when um when a negative number is entered. So the way we could do that we could have a while loop. So we could say while user input greater or equal to zero, the loop's gonna continue. But as soon as that number is not like greater or equal to zero, when it's not positive and it's negative, that's when the loop ends. So first we could just increment the count. So we could do count plus plus. That is totally that works and that's easier. But some people might not understand that, so we'll do it the long way. We could do count equals count plus one. That just adds one to the count. We need count because whenever, in order to find the average, you need to do the total divided by how many numbers there are. How many numbers there are is going to be stored in count. And then we have to update the total as well. We can set total equal to total plus user inputs. I know you could um you could do total plus equal user input that is totally valid it's faster too it looks better but let's keep it simple so we can all understand this okay and then again we're going to ask the user to enter a number this is going to check if we want to pretty much end, uh, like end the program so we could say c and user input and then we're going to check if it's the maximum if it's like a bigger number than max so to do that we could use a f uh, if loop you could say if user input greater than max if it's greater than max we have to update the max because user input's bigger so we could set max equal to user input so there's pretty much that and then once we're out of this while loop that means a uh, user entered a negative number so we could just ignore that and calculate our like our average and our biggest number which you already have the biggest number stored inside of max so all we have to do is um actually find the average. So we could do, we're going to define a variable called average and set that equal to total divided by count. Because remember, total is just a sum of all numbers and then count is however many numbers there are. And then we'll cast it to a double just so we don't get any issues. And then we're pretty much done because we have the, the max up here. So first we assign the max to whatever the user inputs and if the user enters the um, another number that's not negative, we're going to check if that's bigger than max. If it is, we assign whatever the user inputs to the max. So we have the max, and then we have the average. 
So now we just have to print everything. And then we were given a print statement up here. So we could do C out fixed and then set precision. Set precision just makes it so there's two numbers after the decimal point. So we could do C out max because we want to print the max first, like in the example. And then we'll put a space so it's not next to each other. And then print the average. And then we'll just return zero for a good measure. And that's it. And if we run our program now with the sample output, it should mount it should with if we run the program with the sample input, it should max the sample output. So let's do that. So let's enter 15, 20, 0, 3, and then negative 1. The max is 20, like in the output, because 20 is the biggest. And then average is 9.50, like in the output. Our program is working as intended. If this helped in any way, please leave a like and subscribe.